Hi guys, I'm Nicole and I'm the Selfish Sewist. And today I'm talking about unselfish makes. Um, I did some sewing while I was very impatiently waiting the arrival of my daughter. Um, and I did make one outfit for her after she was born, but I thought I would share um, all these patterns with you because they were all free and very quick and easy to make up. So if you have a baby shower or a baby of your own come in, um, these are great patterns to make. Um, so the first thing I made was, this is the Patterns for Pirates Wee Little Lap Tee. And I hacked it to be um, like one of those gowns that with the elastic bottom so you can just um, pull it up. Um, which makes for really quick and easy diaper changes in the middle of the night. Um, I'll link both the um, pattern and the uh, tutorial I found to hack um, the bottom because uh, the pattern is just a t-shirt. And then um, you can also get the petite peg legs which I did make for a cousin of mine but unfortunately I don't have a picture of that. Um, to make like a cute little outfit up, but these are great because it just makes diaper changing very, very easy in the middle of the night. Um, and then to go with that, I made this cute little headband, um, which is nice because the pattern is just, a uh, like a long skinny, um, strip like this. So you can tie it to be, you know, like it can fit any kid head. Um, it doesn't have to be like for newborns and this was a pattern from Sweet Red Poppy um, which I do have some other patterns from hers that I'll show you in just a minute and then I did make two of these little outfits one of them is packed away with all her newborn things because now my baby's so old but um well she's three months but <laughs> um, this is the blank slate um, pinafore um, and I'm pretty sure this pattern is free for like zero to three months if you um, subscribe to their newsletter. Um, but it's really, really cute um, and it's reversible. So this one's got little white and gold polka dots on the other side. Um, and uh, like this is all just, you know, one, well, two pieces of fabric you cut, you know, one of one fabric and one of the other fabric um, and makes up in like, I swear to goodness, like 10 minutes. It's so cute. Um, and then it has matching little baby bloomers that are also quite adorable. Um, I did make these actually quite a bit smaller with, with the elastic than she recommended because um, my baby has real real skinny legs so um, this elastic is a little smaller than she recommended but I just kind of measured my baby's legs and I think um, did like half an inch less of the elastic. Um, but this outfit is real cute and I do think um, I have a picture of her wearing her other one that I made so I'll insert that so you guys can see that too. Um, so that's it for the outfits I made for her. Um, I did make her an adorable little bonnet um, and I'll insert a picture of her wearing it because this is just the cutest fabric. I'm pretty sure this is um, cotton and steel fabric. Um, I got this from a local store here but it's so cute and it's so cute on her. This is reversible too. Um, and this was a pattern from Pearl Soho. Um, I found the pattern on Pinterest, but I'll link it below because it makes up really, really cute. Um, and I like the, um, the brim on it is really, really cute and covers her, her sweet little cheeks. Um, so I made that and I do think I'm going to make some more of these. And this pattern was free and I think it goes up to like 12 or 18 months. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out because it's adorable and then um, let me show you so this is a little hat I made this was um, this and that little gown I made for her were both just leftover um, fabric from dresses that I have um, but this is also from sweet red poppy um, this is their little little tie hat and it's got kind of these cute little rabbit ears that go on it um, so we made that and then um, another pattern for pirates that is also free are these, um, uh, burp cloths. So it's, uh, I did this in flannel on one side and then this, uh, pink like towel material on the other side. Um, I had done a lot of reading, um, when I was pregnant about burp cloths and a lot of them didn't have good reviews and, um, 
you know, a lot of people said, oh, I just ended up using a towel or get toweling material. So um, that's why I made these. And they are great. I will say I'm probably like the luckiest mama ever because my baby has spit up twice um, in her three little months of life. So <laughs> these don't get a ton of, ton of use. Um, every once in a while I use them to like clean up drool or something, but, um, they are still useful. And I know for most people, they're probably really handy, um, for spit up, but we're really fortunate that we didn't, um, have that problem. So I made these actually in a ton of different patterns. I got this, uh, this was the snuggle, um, flannel from Joann's and then the toweling was also from Joann's. Um, and then because I had leftover material um, from those burp cloths, I also made, this was also a sweet red poppy um, pattern, these little um, bandana bibs. And she does use these because um, she's starting to kind of drool a lot. So I have these in um, all the same little fabrics as her burp cloths. But um, these made up really cute. And actually these would be great. Um, baby shower gifts with with the burp cloths um and i i want to say that i got got like two thirds a yard or maybe half a yard of all of these snuggle flannels um and they made two burp cloths and two bibs each so you do kind of get a lot um a lot out of that um amount of fabric and they're real cute and they're real useful um so if you're looking for something that comes together quick um for your baby uh, i would definitely recommend making these um so that was all the baby makes i have so far um i'm sure i'll probably do a video like this as i continue to make things for my sweet little girl but i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye